My name is Tim Crandall and I'm a retired school teacher, but now I am a farmer full time. I've lived in Orem my whole life and we've lived, we've lived in three houses all within a block of each other and but all on our, for the most part on our farm. That's where it started was my great grandfather homesteaded about 160 acres right here. So we've been here, the same piece of property for 140 years. Wow. So we've been here a long time. Over the years though, we've seen it change so much and now there's not very, very many farms left at all. And in fact, ours is one of, one of a few that are left. It's interesting because the, some of the main things that Orem was known for, early on it was certainly agriculture. That's what people came here for was to farm. Then it became known for Geneva Steel and that was really a big thing. And then later on, it's become known as a great place to live and technology, I guess, is a big one. Um, but we've seen it go from, from being almost all agriculture um, to now residential and technology. The thing that I enjoy most about our orchard is first of all, just seeing success. I like the idea of um, that we start over every year. In a couple of months, we'll be all done selling apples and we will start pruning for next year. And the other thing I like about it is simply that we get to see a lot of great people at our fruit stand. Somebody asked me not long ago, they said, what do you really enjoy in life? And I say, I enjoy seeing people succeed and helping them succeed, hopefully. And we do that same thing on the farm, we hope, but it's the same thing we did teaching school. So, so we grow pears, peaches, and apples. The fruit that we sell the most of is, are peaches. We sell a lot of peaches. It's just fun to see the product at the end of the year and see peaches that you think are really pretty and, and uh, people seem to like. I think some, in some ways, kind of the respect of the community is it's never been higher. The people come and really appreciate it as money's not the most important thing to us. Uh, family's more important. And one of the things that we've, I've thought about often is that my great grandfather, my grandfather, my dad all worked really hard to keep this. And it would be really easy to make a living and to make money if we turned around and sold it. It's a little harder to make money continuing to farm. But the other thing is we enjoy it. We, um, we believe it's an addition to the community. We hope it's a place where generations can learn to work. And so as we'll keep doing it until we get tired. But right now we keep planting trees every year and watching them grow and, and we enjoy doing it. So. We did just go to the city council and there's something called a conservation easement. And it is so that the orchard will pre be preserved and, and we would get part of the money now, but we could never then sell it for a residential. Um, it would have to stay green space, which could be either an orchard or a park or something like that. We would love to have this as, as a permanent part of Orem because we are, we're proud to be farmers. And nowadays, um, that's kind of an interesting concept, you know, and, and so anyhow, we, we, uh, we would love to have it preserved.